Good day, hope this is reaching you well. This is Ken here from RD Labs. So in the last episode, we discussed about um, Alex, which is basically the first DEX order book on layer two, on stacks, on Bitcoin, um, and obviously preparing for their launch. Obviously today, uh, in the last basically few hours, they have actually launched. So we're just going to work through it, discuss about what else is happening within the BRC20 ecosystem. As I said, it's massive opportunities, huge growth. So as we are, we're always early to these new interesting um, areas and trends and narratives, and this isn't any different. So just follow us, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. I'm really going to spread the word and see how we can be able to find some phenomenal projects that we can take advantage of. So this is the BR, brc-20.io site. So basically, this is similar to like a CoinGecko, RD Analytics, um, CoinMarketCap, where it just gives you a breakdown of the existing um, tokens within the BRC20 universe, um, just regarding what's happening, their market cap. So we're, we're still around that half billion dollar mark in total, total size. So it's holding up very, very well. You know, the general crypto market isn't doing so well so far, but this is pretty, it's holding up. So that's good news. Um, so let's just basically just touch on where we are now. So if I just pull up um, the Alex, the first decks, they've actually now launched. Um, so first and foremost, they've actually launched and they've actually launched their first projects project um, within their ecosystem on their decks. If we just pull this up, um, so basically what you need to do is, as I mentioned before, if you haven't done so already, um, you can be able to then bridge assets over um, what you will then need to do is you go to the bridge, you can be able to connect your MetaMask um, and then it's currently within the USDT at the moment, you can be able to move funds over to the Stacks chain, chain which is on the L2 um, and then it's converted into SUSDT. Um, you also need to have a high row wallet. So I recommend you set up a high row wallet so the funds move over there. Um, and then thereafter, um, what then happens then basically wraps it and then you can be able to use that to, to trade. You can also start, there's obviously pools, there's staking, there's farming, a few that's going to haven't launched yet, like Launchpad uh, is set to come out, um, set to be released very, very soon. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that progresses. Uh, but what I wanted to obviously discuss with you is the um, the order book and the launch. So you can clearly see here if we pull down and we go to a few projects that's launched, as you can see here. So Pizza essentially have um, launched. Um, SHNT has also launched. So if we just take a look how well they're doing. Um, so you can see this massive spike up. So there's clear demand taking place. Um, just from a price action perspective early into this space. So these are things to look at, you know, even if you're not going to go in heavy, just, you know, the amazing thing about crypto is just to spend time, you know, it's, it's good to really just take action rather than just sitting and thinking about what to do. Just basically bridge, move funds over to these new ecosystems, these new DEXs, and really start playing around this new technology, right? Because that's how you then educate yourself and that's when opportunities arise. So um, we've got SHNT. I'm sure there's going to be more projects that's listing. Maxi will be listing, I think, later today. Long would also be listing later today, um, which will be interesting. And then basically uh, following that thereafter, you can, um, as I mentioned before, that in the previous episode, that potentially there would be an airdrop. And they just came out and mentioned that there will be an airdrop. Uh, where is that? Let's just see. So B20, which is Alex's uh, to token, there will be an airdrop on the way. Trading open soon. So they're announcing the airdrop as I actually thought and uh, predicted airdrop. So you need bid to earn, trade to earn, stake, Alex. So that means you're, if you spend time to utilize and um, the ecosystem within the DEX, there'll be a high probability based on those metrics that you'll receive an airdrop. So definitely spend some time to go through it. As I mentioned, spend some time to move funds over, to stake, um, to, to bridge, to then start uh, investing, right? Looking for certain projects. And that would hopefully increase the chances. If that's your main 
um, modus operandi is to really to get an airdrop, then take advantage. But for me, I really wanted to spend time. I love new technology. I love you know innovating and building up infrastructure. So that's what I'm here for essentially. So that's where we are there regarding that. Um, also, I wanted to mention the amazing thing about th this whole BRC20 space is that you just have to be creative, right? So obviously, if you take a look at with crypto, there's been a lot of rugs, there's been a lot of hacks, but with BRC20, there's no pre-mine, there's no VCs, right? Looking to raise at early, you know, very, very uh, low prices that are taken advantage and getting in way before the mass uh, does. Um, there's no raises, right? So you're not seeing raises of millions of dollars taking place. There are no smart contracts. So, you know, these scrupulous devs, you know, some of these untowards devs are not inserting some malicious code, malicious functions or unlimited mints, right? So they can take advantage of, of naive uh, investors, you know, so this is just phenomenal opportunity. It's just clean. And this is what I love about, I'm seeing within the BRC20 space. It's just people that you can be able to enjoy. You can create ideas and then you can basically just, just mint it. So uh, with Unisat, I wanted to actually then also talk about OXBT. So OXBT um, essentially um, have come from those guys, um, Let's just pull this up so you can basically see what I'm talking about. So Bit God, a uh, Bit God, um, essentially they've come out with their OXBT, um, where they're you know got a huge community behind them and they're really like, pushing hard uh, regarding this. A week ago they came out and said that they're looking to inscribe OXBT. I think it's an uncommon um, sat. And then it was basically then sort of built up this, you know, pretty strong community, um, strong build up for this launch. And then they essentially did inscribe it. But what you can actually see that this is the, the total supply, how much was actually minted, the limit per mint. But what you can actually see, it was actually then uh, minted by the one address. And it essentially means that, you know, BitGod or whoever, you know, connected to them actually seems to mint to this. So it's been inscribed, it's been minted. Um, but then what happens, let's see, OXBT, let's just go to that. So you can see here the breakdown of what I mean here. Um, so you can see the holders. So there's only one address that's holding um, all of the mint so far. So this sometimes goes against the grain of what BRC20 is, you know, being open and transparent to everyone. So they've essentially inscribed it. They minted, um, it was available, but they essentially took, minted the whole supply and have now used that um, to build up a marketing um, structure, right? A strategy where they're giving white lists and giveaways to other influencers and giveaways, as you can see here, building up momentum. But I'm not too sure whether this is, you know, really goes against the grain, to be honest. You know, time will tell. I, I just believe that if you're going to have, you know, if you're going to look at inscribing, pull it out there to the whole community, let people take advantage so they can be able to mint it. And then you can be able to then build up your marketing campaign and then spread the word. This is just my views anyway. So let's just see how that progresses uh, moving forward. As we also, as I also discussed that it's, you know, for this whole infrastructure, for this whole growth of this whole marketplace um, within the BRC20, I think the next step is that we would like to see um, an indexer. So the BRC20 to be kind of like an indexer. We've got explorers. And this basically means like a decentralized on-chain open source indexer for, for BRC20. And I think this should be Percy, that the growth, the next step of iteration of this whole BRC20 space. Uh, time will tell. Obviously, I know a few people are working on it. I'm obviously looking to help out in any way that we can with what we're doing from a development infrastructure aspect. Um, but yeah, this is just phenomenal. So there we are. Um, we will be doing these type of, um, let's just say, episodes or just information about what's happening, updates, hopefully on a daily basis if I can. Um, I will be traveling to to Dubai um, at the end of the week, spending some time there. So anyone in Dubai, just, le just let me know. And we can obviously do like a mini meetup or some sort. 
And then I'll be off to also New York thereafter. So looking to try and do some meetups within a BRC, um, you know, space like what's happening in Miami. Um, this is extremely early, as I said. So let's get straight to it, guys. Any questions, any problems, just add a comment. Reach out to me. I am there. Also, if you want to join on Patreon, we're adding a lot of information within our, our group, within Telegram, um, and just giving a lot of insight. So yeah, have a fantastic day. Speak to you soon.